this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can model a simple Islamic uh, geometric pattern with Grasshopper. As you can see, I have exactly modeled this star in Grasshopper by changing these dimensions. And I'm going to explain how you can model this by changing the radius of the circles and produce the pattern. So basically this tutorial will show you uh, how you can produce this simple pattern in Grasshopper. Before we start this tutorial, if you're new to our channel, consider watching this tutorial up here, which is about the basics of Grasshopper and how you can learn it. And also, if you want to enroll in our course and learn our advanced lessons, you can also watch these lessons up here, which I'm going to explain uh, what's related to the course. So let's just get started from scratch. And I want to make this a parametric star. So the most important thing, as you can see in this image, is the, the circles and these lines. Uh, if we focus on the points on these star pattern, for example, this section, let me just zoom that and make it bigger. If we look at these points, uh, you can see that we can produce a circle and make a circle around these points, right? So this is going to be another circle. Again, if you look at this intersection, we can make that again a circle. Uh, if you look at this one, it's a circle and so on here we can make that a circle here and these one too let me just make this another color so it's all about making a circle you can make that in another way also so i'm going to make this pattern with circles and let's get started we're going to go to the curve section and make this circle in the canvas i'm going to put a bifocals plugin so you can see what i'm doing and uh, the center of this circle can be a point, so let's just get this exactly where we want to, and we can change that later if we want. So I'm going to put that in the center of this image, uh, so you can see how I'm exactly producing that pattern. Let's just give this a radius, and make that a bigger one. We'll increase that radius to maybe 1000. And we can control that. Okay, so this is the first circle. Uh, the algorithm is really simple. What we want to do is to divide it. So I'm going to divide this curve. And the number of the division is important. Uh, because if we divide this, assume that we have another point in the center of this, it's going to be the number of the star sections. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, let's just check that out, maybe 20, I guess, if we give this to the count. You can see it's simply sitting on the star and you can change it until you reach the exact number. So uh, I prefer to double click this and put an even number and go with maybe 8 to 40 maybe. And we can change that later. So for now, we're going to focus on 20 and make that algorithm further. So these points, what we need are these uh, we have to dispatch them into one by one. Again, if you don't know about dispatch, I'm going to put up a tutorial up here, which is related. We have talked about this before, so just check this out. I'm going to type dispatch, dispatch these points, and the pattern is fine. It's true, false. So I'm going to make these points into group A and group B. That's fine, and we see that on the pattern we can just turn off everything and we will have those points uh, again what we want to do is to make this count or n always 20 so i'm going to put that up so when i copy this also the point is always the same so we put them up and then copy the rest Control c Control v and then we increase the radius so let's just go to the next circle okay this time i guess it's going to be list a can see it's going to be list A instead of list B and we have that. Uh, we can simply just connect them uh, with a polyline so we can go with weave. I guess we have a tutorial about weave so if we have it I'm going to put it up here and it's really simple let's just type weave and give this point. Uh, we work with that in Islamic pattern in another tutorial so we're going to weave that it's going to be like this if this is zero and this is zero, then we have one, and this is one. So we're going to weave that. It's going to be like this, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. So we're going to give that stream one and zero, and you can see that the pattern is zero, one. Uh, let's just connect that to a curve, 
and a polyline. <clears throat> okay, we're going to swap the stream 0 and 1. It's going to give this a result. So remember, you can always check out which one is going to give you the results, and we can turn that off. You can see that we have exactly that. We have to close it, so I'm going to go to the close and set it to true. That's the way you can make it. Okay, let's go to the next section. So we have another circle, and we're going to copy this. Remember, the number is always 20. Let's just turn on the points and the division. Make that a little bit bigger. Okay. You can see it's really simple. We have to choose between list A and list B. It's true or false. So it's going to go to the true or false. True, false, we are just going to pick that. Let's just turn this off. And now we have to weave between these points and these points. Again, I'm going to use the weave. So it's either stream 0, 1, or we're going to swap that and then give that to a polyline. That's right. So you can see if I didn't give the right connection, we have to go with like that. So we can fix it by simply changing the stream 0 and 1. And remember, it's a closed one, so we have the second one. Uh, that's really simple. The next step is to go with another circle. So I'm going to copy that, maybe. Okay, we don't need this. We just want to see the circle. So I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, you see it's going to sit on those points. And now we have to increase the division because if you check this out, you can see that it's not right. Uh, so how can we do that? Maybe if it's 20, uh, we can say 60 three times. I want to check that out. So let's say x multiplied by 3. Maybe it's going to give us too much points. Maybe we can go with something like this three times with the star. x divided by 2 is going to be 30. So now we can see that's correct. So it's going to be 30 instead of 20. And you can see that we have these points again and again. Now we have to change the pattern. So I'm going to go to the dispatch. Let's just delete these things. And if it's going to go to the point list, display point list, and bake this, uh, let's zoom in. OK, we want like that, something like this, false, true, true, then false, true, true, false, true, true. So I'm going to make that a pattern. It's going to be, uh, zero is going to be false. Again, it's about the dispatch pattern. And it's going to be true, true. And again, false, false. So now we can see that we, let's just turn this off. List A, they are all sitting on those locations. So I'm going to make that happen. Delete these things. And we're going to work with this. So the next step is to make this line on the pattern. Okay, besides that, I'm going to also produce this one. So let's just copy this. Uh, make that circle a little bit bigger. We have to go with the base division. You can see that we have that true false. So I just switch back to true false. Uh, remember that? OK, let's just delete this one to the default was like true false right and we divided that 20 times so exactly it's either list a or list b and we have these points too so remember we just made them happen and we have to go with this pattern okay so now we have to weave that back and produce these sections. I'm going to make this, it's going to take a little bit uh, of logic here because we want to make that pattern with a polyline and it's going to take a while. So let's just go back. We have uh, these points here, we have these points, and we have these points, right? Let's see how can we weave back all of this together. So we want to make this pattern. Uh, I want to show you how we can weave these three series of points to make the pattern. We can go to the point list, to the display point list, connect this one. I'm going to bake this. This is going to be 
uh, one of them then I'm going to go to this second series let's just give this another size maybe three it's going to give this the same size so it's not really important and the last one okay so we're going to go with the weave and we have uh, three T's at this time is going to be uh, three streams of pattern and we have to uh, write it with 012 so I'm going to start with uh, mm, let's just go and connect this one 012 so remember this is going to be 0 this is going to be uh, I guess 1 and this is going to be 2 so if we want to start the pattern it's going to be something like this uh, I'm going to say uh, the group 2, right? 2, 1, 0. So 2, 1, 0, again, 1, 2, 1, 0. Let's just type this. 2, we need to go to the red so we can see it. It's going to be like that. Group 2, uh, group 1, group 0, right? And again, it's going to be group one and we finished so it's going to be again two one zero one so we have to write two zero okay two one zero one two one zero one so i'm going to go to the pattern two one zero one this is really beautiful it's a power of grasshopper let's just go to the polyline and connect that you can see how beautifully it's going to connect all of those points together and we have to close that and we have it that's it that's how easy it is you can produce that pattern uh, for the next part so let's just make another copy this time for the next circle I'm going to make this bigger and we're going to go with the list B Again, swap that up. And now we have to play with this series of point and this point. Again, weave it. Flip good exercise. So it's going to be something like this, maybe. Let's just see it on point lists. It's going to help us to recognize what we want to do. I'm going to bake it here. And also bake it here. So it's going to be like this. 0, 0, 1. So it's going to go from the first group to the second group, again to the first group to the second group. So it's really easy. This time it's going to be 0, 1, the default. Let's check that out. And the polyline. We have this pattern. Remember, you have to close that. And we close that circle. And you can see that we have that pattern that's really cool. And you can make that parametrically change that. You can see that I can change it easily by changing the location. So let's get back to the last one. We're going to make that bigger and make that circle. Let's just turn this on. There we go. We want to pick one of the list A or list B. List A is fine. And again, we have to go with these points and these points. I guess it's going to be again B like this pattern so it's going to be list a and one okay swap that that's it and that's all the uh, algorithm we need to make the patterns and we can just bring all of these forward turn everything off and that's it you can see how easy it is to produce this pattern change the number of the count change the location of the pattern now we can play with these circles right make it smaller change this one change this one so this is the way you can make that simple Islamic geometric pattern with grasshopper and produce a parametric basically a parametric pattern parametric star with it and produce different patterns you can see that I can produce different patterns and especially with playing with these numbers you can get the results let's just put this here it's going to be always 20 and we can increase or decrease that so this is how you can make that parametric it's a simple pattern uh, Islamic pattern but now we can make that parametric which is one step 
further and produce that pattern. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And see you next time.